Well, when it comes to children's toys, you probably have seen in the news all of the recalls, especially because of lead in the paint. Pretty scary things out there for parents, but what is a parent to do if they want to buy toys for their kids that are safe? Well, we put the call out there and we got our answer from Jen Bolden from IdealBite.com. Thank you very much for joining us Thanks again. Thanks for having me. I see you've got toys out here. It looks fun today, but you say yes. that these are safe for kids, correct? Yes, so okay. much safer. And it's so important because these kids are developing, their bodies are smaller, right. mm -hmm. they're sensitive, right. and they're putting everything in their Every mouth. Every single thing in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, and so if there's one point to go eco-friendly, it's definitely here. Yeah, yeah, take care of them while they're young, too, especially. Now, what, are, what do we have here? Oh, we've got adorable stuffed animals. So cute. Absolutely, and a lot of them are made with organic cotton. Really? And cotton is one of those materials that creates so much pesticide use when you've got non-organic. Oh and a lot God. of the, the pesticides have been linked to cancer-forming agents. Uh -huh. So you really want to make sure to do the non um, you know, pesticide laden right. toys. And this one happens to be my favorite. That's so cute. And it's made of wool, actually, uh -huh. in, in Kenya. So it's also okay. fair trade. It's not only eco, but fair trade. Right. So these, these ladies are getting uh, fair wages. Mm -hmm. And it's That's a backpack. Amazing. It's so cute. Oh, it's a backpack. This yeah. is so, you know, kids are going to love something Absolutely. like this. Absolutely. Now, speaking of putting things in their mouth, there's yes. some teething toys as well as crayons. You know, they put the crayons in their mouth all yes. the time, too. So what's different about these? Well, uh, you can see here these are made with organic cotton. But okay. a lot of the teething toys on the market, you know, in the conventional mm -hmm. type stores, right. um, have PVC and other type of plastics that break down. That's so scary. And they're ingested in their little sweet developing bodies. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's really important to get teething toys that are non-toxic, mm -hmm. and they love munching on these, and they it just do. sets the good stage for, you know, going to the farmer's market later right. in life, right? <laughs> and kids won't know the difference. And then the crayons, <laughs> I notice here they're made from soybeans? They are. They are. That's and a lot, yep, again, regular crowns mm -hmm. have materials in them that are asthma producing mm -hmm. and, um, like ammonia wow. yeah, and turpentine and these things that are not FDA regulated because it's not a food. Right. You know? So who knew? So yeah. who knew? So you can get them made out of soybeans. That's, I never, never would have imagined that. Now, yeah. toys, we recognize these here. They are different, though, than the average toys. They right? definitely are different than the average toy. Mm -hmm. So it's all made from sustainable wood, which okay. means that they're not taking down the trees faster than they, than they can grow. Mm -hmm. And then they're treated with non-toxic kind of sealants and paints and, wow. you know, of course, tested very thoroughly uh -huh. and in don't have to worry about the lead and the paint with yeah. these here. It's kind of crazy. Exactly. Now, when it comes to diapers, mm. you know it's not a toy, right. per se, but these are different little diapers mm -hmm. as well. I don't know if you can see these are not very cute. What's different about this diaper than the average diaper out there? Well, the average diaper you're throwing away, right? Mm -hmm. Most of it's made out of, of uh, plastic. Right. And it's going to the landfill, and it's sitting there for a 1,000 years. Mm -hmm. And um, there's about 18 billion tons of diapers that go to the landfills. Billion so, with a B. Billion with a B. Okay. And so G diapers did something very ingenious and they kind of have this hybrid going on where you've mm -hmm. got cloth on the outside that you reuse and the inside has a biodegradable little liner that you snap in. Mm -hmm. You pull that out and then it can be flushed. Safe for the environment as well. Too. Yeah. Okay, good. Now you guys can also get these tips and more. You can sign up for daily tips at idealbite.com and yep. get all this information and much, much more, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much. You've saved the day. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. <laughs> Don't go away. Another Parents TV on-demand video is coming up next. Starting your holiday shopping soon? Well, don't head to the mall before you check out some of the best toys of the year. Staffers at Parents Magazine chose these toys you're about to see for kids ages 4 to 7. And joining us now to show us what makes these toys so special is Parents Magazine Executive Editor Kate Lawler. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Now, parent staffers actually took all these home for their kids to try, and they picked their favorites. Yes, we actually tested hundreds of toys, mm -hmm. and our kids tested them at home, and we boiled them down to the absolute best toys that your kids are going to want to see under the Christmas tree this year. And these are some of the favorites. These are some of the favorites, okay. some of the hottest of the hot. And this is um, age group of five or four and up? The, this is for a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. This is parents' pop beads. Um, these are fun beads that you can pop together really easy and big okay. and good for little hands. You can make bracelets. You can make necklaces. How cute you can and make colorful. A ring. And you were saying that boys even like them. Yeah. I've got a cute ring here. Boys even like them because they could make a snake. Yeah, this doesn't have them. to be a necklace. It can be a snake. So it's a great toy for great a four-year-old. How about this one? This is for a five-year-old. This is also for a four-year-old. Okay. This is called Bunny Hop. It's by Educational Insights. This is a great first game for kids. And the, basically the point is you, each kid wants to try and get a bunny of each color, and mm -hmm. then he wins. So you roll the dice, and then you push down a bunny, and if he pops out, right. you get to keep him. So let's see what in happens this case, here. let's see if I push the right bunny. You get to keep him, Kate. Keep so you have a so, blue one, now yes, you have to get the other exactly, colors. Exactly. Well, that's a really fun toy, too. Yeah. All right, moving on. Looks like these uh, some excitement over here yeah, with the 
we've electronics. Got, um, we've got remote control cars okay. from Kid Galaxy. Mm -hmm. These are for five and six year olds okay. and, and age up from there. This is fun because it's also a game. It's not just a remote oh. control. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the point is to race against each other and pop the other guys. Uh, the other guy's uh, guy out. Okay. There we go. That is a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. And now in the same age group, this is five and six still, we have this yes. great camera. This is the Kitty Zoom camera from VTAC. Mm -hmm. This is really great. It's a real digital camera. It takes great pictures. You can download them onto your computer, but mm -hmm. it has a lot of really fun kid uh, friendly features on the back. You can actually choose a picture of a hat, like a Viking hat or a pirate hat. Mm -hmm. I can take a picture of you and the hat will show up on your head. On. It's great so because, because the really kids fun. always want to use mom yeah. and dad's so camera. I'm take your picture Cheese. And smile. Now this we're moving up to seven and above. Yes, seven and above. This is Lego. And These are not your typical no, Legos, not from a, when I was a kid. This is the Lego townhouse. This is great for kids who are really into Legos and who can handle more complicated configurations. This house has a working garage door, yeah. working windows. You can actually make three different houses out of this kit. They, it comes with three different patterns. Even the little garbage can works. Yeah. Absolutely great. Now we have one more toy left that yes. we can't, we're running out of time here, but this we have to bring this out. Our favorite toy. Okay. Possibly. Possibly. Turn them this on, is right? the Robo Quad. Okay. It's by Wowee. And yep. if you turn him on. What happens? He's a, he's, oh, he's talking to us. <laughs> He's remote control. He walks around in the dark. He dances. He makes noises. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, so great. Kate yeah, Lolly, these are all great gift ideas. I think I'm going to head to the store now. I know what I need to get my kids. The robot, the bunny hop. Right. Thank you so much You're for so coming welcome. in. Thank you for watching Parents TV. Our families, our lives.